Hello everyone! In this video tutorial we will walk you through the metrics available in Ads Benchmarks, a feature which will allow you to compare your ad account's performance to your industries, countries, or regions benchmark. Let's check it out! The first thing you'll find is a quick overview of how your ad account is doing in comparison to the benchmark you've chosen. We've grouped ads data into four different categories. Spend, Engagement, Cost, and Content and show you how you're performing in each one. Then we take the average of all categories to come up with your ads benchmark score for the last day of the time range you've selected to analyze. Each category is made up of specific metrics. For example, your average cost performance takes into account your cost per click, cost per action, cost per mill, and cost per page like to analyze how your costs are stacking up to your selected benchmark. By clicking on the name of each metric, you can go straight to its chart within the report. Let's start at the top. The benchmark score evolution shows what your ads benchmark score was during each day of the time period you're analyzing. On September 7, for example, our ad account was performing better than 71% of ad accounts in North America. As you scroll down, you'll find charts going into each one of the metrics that make up all four categories showing you where you rank against the benchmark you've selected. To the right-hand side of each chart, you will find a legend letting you know what's good and what might need some improvement. The first category is spend, and it will show your total ad spend per day for the selected time period, compared against your benchmark. Are you spending a lot more than the median? If so, you might want to check if your engagement is also higher. Next up is engagement, with metrics such as impressions, actions, and reach. On this chart showing impressions, for example, we can see the impressions for our ad account on September 14th were 564,000, while the median for North America was 35.5,000. As far as impressions go, we're performing better than 85% of the ad accounts in North America. Under each chart, you can also find a handy summary to let you know what your average performance in the displayed metric was during the selected time period, what was your minimum and maximum performance, and when they happened, and your last day's performance. When analyzing charts that have to do with costs, like our next category, a lower cost will mean a better performance. Let's analyze our cost per click. On September 8, the cost per click for our ads account was 50 cents while the median for the region was $0.45. Cents. As far as cost per click goes, Social Bakers is performing better than 45% of the ads accounts in North America, since our cost is lower than theirs. However, we're still under the median. As you can see in the right-hand side of our chart, the lower my cost is, the closer I get to the perfect score. This same logic applies to all the charts under the cost category, cost per action, cost per mail, and cost per page like. Our final category, content, takes into account your relevance score and frequency. The relevance score is a rating from 1 to 10 that estimates how well your target audience is responding to your ad. The higher your ad's relevance score, the better it's considered to be performing. Frequency shows the number of times each person saw your ad. It helps build awareness and recall by showing your message to people in your target audience multiple times. It's important to monitor frequency along with your relevance score to make sure the same people aren't seeing your ads too often during a campaign. Start understanding the value of your ad strategy beyond your own historical performance by using ads benchmarks today.